Underneath my bed, I have a ton of storage. As a 30 year old, I want a bathroom. So I've got one. <laughs> Having all this space to spread out and to be comfortable and to host friends is my priorities. I am absolutely in love with this lifestyle. It is wild that this is my norm. Hi, I'm Julia from the band Echo Rose Rising. This is my trailer, Scoogie. Let's check it out. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. This is one of my favorite spots in my trailer because I've gotten everything all tucked away into its home where it belongs. For me, as an artist, my top priority has been decorating the space. So that's probably mostly what I'm going to talk about today. So you'll notice that all of my cabinet doors have slightly different themes. The summer camp that I grew up going to had a lot of decorations. It was a rustic family resort and there were a lot of twigs decorating surfaces with birch bark behind it. So this is a project that I've been familiar with since I was a kid, but the window in this location was a bit of a plot twist. If we work our way down, we've got another cabinet design down yonder. And then there are also accents of wood burning carvings that I did. As far as the decorations go, <laughs> I'm constantly piecing together my vision throughout the whole space, trying to make a compilation that I almost describe it as a museum. <laughs> I feel like I have a great amount of storage for my need. As a solo traveler, I'm able to fit everything that I need in this space. I've got a two burner stove, as well as a fair amount of counter space, enough for, for what I need it for. Uh, my trailer was already built out actually when I got it. And that was really beautiful to already have systems that work. My sink has a water pump going to its tanks and the gray water, it's all already in line with the, with the whole system. So that was really beautiful. I have a two-way fridge, which means it runs off of propane, but also off of shore power when I'm plugged in. I'm not often plugged in, so for the most part, I'm running off of my propane tank, but it's super spacious. It's one of the biggest fridges I've seen amongst my friends out here on the road. And the fact that I have my own freezer as a separate compartment is also super advantageous because I love Trader Joe's. <laughs> I've always had nomadic tendencies. Even when I was a kid, I would take buses to go visit friends in different cities. And when I got my first car, I took off across the country. In my Subaru, I had a bed set up in there. It was a very small, compact version of something like this, but I got a taste for it at the very start of owning my first car and I really fell in love with this lifestyle. At that point, those travels were totally in vacation mode, and I wanted to see if I could make that lifestyle sustainable and last long term. And there's a few different categories that fall into that. That's socially and mentally and financially. And three years in, I'm still piecing together things, trying new strategies, new combinations of ideas in order to find that sustainability in this lifestyle long term. But I'm absolutely in love with this lifestyle. It is wild that this is my norm. Welcome to my living room. This is my favorite space in my trailer. This actually used to be a dinette and I didn't even realize I could turn this into a couch for like two years of traveling. And now I haven't changed it back ever since. I love the way that it is in couch mode. Having all this space to spread out and to be comfortable and to host friends is my priority. So I love it. Also, this entire love seat is storage. I have some cool decorations, more cabinet decorations going on. Up top, I have some containers from the container store and they're all latched into place so that everything's anchored down when I'm driving. I have a couple different systems as far as powering my life on the road. So I have a battery for my trailer, for my lights, for my fridge, but I also have a system of jackeries, which is externalized 
My Starlink, my computer, and my music gear is all powered off of my Jackery. And since I work remotely on the road, I definitely need to have that system dialed so that I can reliably access my computer and have Wi-Fi wherever I go. So the Jackeries have been amazing. I have a few different solar panel options. I've got 200 watts on the roof and they also have a 100 watt panel that I put outside to keep my Jackeries topped off. And having that redundant system just makes me that much more flexible to handle any situation because you gotta go with the flow when you're living on the road. <laughs> I actually have a very sizable bathroom as far as most of the other RVs that I've seen go. I have an entirely separate shower from the toilet and also a lot of storage. And when I was shopping around, this was a priority of mine. I wanted to be able to comfortably do all of the things I need to do because I wanted this lifestyle to be something long-term. As a 30 year old, I want a bathroom. So I've got one. <laughs> My bathroom system uses a black water tank and that's something that I have to go deal with about every two weeks. I recently purchased a full length mirror, which is funny that it took me so long to get this because it was like $7 and such a game changer. And now I get to try on all my show outfits. It's like I've got my personal green room. I can just pull right up to any venue, make sure that I get to look the way I want to before my shows. I was living in a studio apartment before I hit the road, which was honestly not much bigger than my current space. So I used that as my stepping off point to imagine how much space I would really need when I was shopping for a rig. And honestly, I could see myself spending my lifetime in this little box. I can do everything in this space. I can dance, I can play music, I can cook my meals, I can stand up and move around. I feel really grateful to have all this space. Even if I'm in a public area, if I shut my blinds, I still feel like I can do whatever I need to do in my personal little green room on wheels. I chose to buy a rig that was already built out for me. There's obviously a lot of pros to building your own home and really putting every, ounce of energy that you have into customizing every inch. But at the end of the day, that's a huge project. And I didn't have any experience in building. And I decided that really what I cared more about was launching this lifestyle, getting straight to it, and customizing the space through the art that I put on the walls. Welcome to my bedroom. I said my living room was the favorite, but I lied. This is better. <laughs> this is a full-size mattress, and it's the mattress that I took out of my original apartment, so it's actually super comfy. I swapped it out last minute with the one that came with this RV, and I'm so grateful because this one is amazing, and the other one was like basically cardboard. So we're comfy over here. Above the bed is my closet. I have all of my clothing storage and cute little containers, as well as a closet next to my bed. And for my shows, I like to have a different outfit for all of the important performances so that in the content from that performance, it's its own unique aesthetic of a moment. Underneath my bed, I have a ton of storage. My 30 gallon water tank is located there. I'd say 30 gallons is enough to last me usually two weeks. That's with me being really mindful of my water consumption. I often use jugs so that I can stay longer in one place without having to go refill my tank and I can bring smaller batches of water back to my house without having to move my trailer into town. I have two doors accessing this compartment from the outside, which is super helpful because this is a big space and I can't reach everything just from this door at the foot of my bed. I love having a map on my wall of whatever my current ambitions are. I have a goal to play a show in all 50 states. So I've obviously been to more states than those 14, but those are the ones that I've booked a show, played a planned performance, and crossed it off that list. So we'll see how far I get. If anyone wants a house concert, shameless plug. 
So as we've seen, I love to put things on my wall that remind me of the beautiful experiences that I'm so grateful to have had in the last few years or even further back, I guess, in some cases. But something that I'm super proud of is this music festival I've been organizing for the last two years called Rose Fest. It's mostly geared toward nomads, but also inclusive to anyone in Colorado that wants to come soak in the indie music and the reflective energy. So I've got the posters from the last two years hanging up on my wall, which is a nice reminder of all the hard work that I put into that. And my artist friend, Rita, was the designer of last year's poster, which is always inspiring to get to look at. Thanks for watching my tiny home tour. Super grateful to get to share my space with you all. If you want to check out my music, Echo Rose Rising on either Instagram or YouTube would be the best place to find me. And you can find links on those to all my other projects. But I always come back.